Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckle Owens Equipment. I brought one of my helpers here, Reed, to help me do an overview of an RTB 520, as well as talk more importantly about this front snow blade out front. Uh, the front snow blade is the V4308B, which is the current model uh, front snow blade for the RTB 520. So, a uh, quick overview of the 520 and then talking more about that front snow blade, so stick with us. So what is the RTV 520? Is a side by side from Kubota. It's the smallest one they make. Again, it was the. It's been redone for the 520. Before it used to be called the RTV 500. And whenever it was redesigned, uh, you know they changed some of the cowling on it, uh, increased the horsepower by a little bit, didn't increase the speed. Basically, the most common reference we always hear is that, you know, I'm looking to upgrade from a golf cart. What do you got? Um, and that's going to take you to the 500 or the 520 kind of idea. Again, it's basically a glorified golf cart that has some good uh, capacities, whether it be towing or throwing stuff in the back. Because again, with a side-by-side, -side, you're going to be wanting to use that bed. Again, so that's what you're kind of replacing. Uh, it's kind of a very robust uh, golf cart. Gets you A to B, doesn't do it uh, quickly. Um, again, like all the side-by-sides from Kubota, it is on the slower end. Uh, but it is a very robust unit. In this unit particularly, um, you're going to see it has the flip windshield as well as the standard roof there. Again, flip windshield is basically just so that you can get into the front here, um, open up that hood. You're going to say, well, what's underneath that hood? Not much. Basically, there's just a, a rad and uh, the horn itself. So. Um, again, but it uh, still need it to get in there. Nice dump box on the back there. Uh, this one in particular, though we can't really show you, is uh, has the electric dump dump box on there installed uh, as an option. You'll see it's a little bit different than the other dash extras or the sidekick, as it's not a spray and box liner. It's just a nice metal uh, box liner. It's nice. It's not plastic, so that you can still throw your chainsaw, fuel, and stuff in there, and not have to worry about it breaking. The nice thing about the RTB 520s is hydrostatic. Uh, it means there's no belt in there to wear. It's going to be a little bit more robust over the years without uh, running into any issues with that hydrostatic transmission. Whenever you're going to be getting a, a 520, it comes in a couple different colors. You have the, the camo and the orange. The deluxe edition, whenever you're picking a deluxe, it's going to come with uh, uh, nice mag rims as well as uh, uh, the grill guard out front here. So this one is your standard edition uh, unit with uh, the black rims and then an, uh, and then added on is the grill guard itself. If you look on our channel, uh, you're going to see a few other uh, overviews of the 520. You know, we have one with a full cab on it and then we also have one just basically set up the same as this, uh, first introducing it. Um, again, they also make a soft-sided cab. Uh, we haven't uh, had the chance to bring a video to you yet, but there is pretty much every option under the sun, whether you're looking for uh, winches on the front, extra guards underneath, extra options with your uh, rear box and stuff. So there's lots of lots of attachments and stuff that you can get for it. Uh, again, uh, as, as they become available, we'll definitely be bringing to you in other videos. Okay, so what do we got out front here? We got a 60 inch front angle blade, snow blade from, from Kubota for the front of this RTB 520. Model number is a V4308. It's not only exclusive for the 520, it is a new blade for it, but it is backwards compatible for your RTB 500 as well as the 400. Nice and simple, easy blade. One word you're going to he keep hearing me saying, whether it's referring to the 520 or this blade, it is very robust for the size of it. Um, again, it isn't as heavy duty as what you're going to see on the dash X's or the sidekicks, but it is designed for this machine and works great with this machine. You don't have much to worry about. Some of the standard features you're going to get with it um, is you're going to get uh, uh, electric lift on it as well as some skid shoes. It is a trip blade, so you're going to see that nice big spring on the back so that whenever you hit something, it will fold over and not damage anything. It is manual angle here. Whenever it comes to installing it, is it easy? Is it hard? Extremely easy. Whether it's the guys putting it together for the first time in the back, uh, it's not a very big job. Whenever you go to take it on and off, what are you looking at? A couple pins and it is removed from the unit. So if you're worried about that, don't be. It's not something that's hard to install or remove uh, when the time comes. Again, whenever it comes to those skid shoes on the side, uh, you know, whenever it comes to early season, you don't want that very aggressive, you know, so you want it kind of up. Uh, and then whenever you get that nice base later on, then you can adjust from there. But uh, to start off with, you want those uh, skid shoes dialed up to non-aggressive. As mentioned, uh, so you have the electric lift here, nice and easy. Uh, again, we're going to demonstrate it. Uh, it's just basically a, a button on the, on the dash here that lowers and lifts this unit. You can get electric angle for it as well. It's very expensive, unfortunately, uh, for what it is. Uh, again, at the end of the day, it's just an actuator there. Uh, so it is electric that moves it side to side uh, with a button inside. 
But for that option, you know, it's about $1,200 for the kit, and then you have install on top of that, so all of a sudden you're on $1,500, $1,800 uh, to make this blade move side to side a little bit. After that, some of the other options you can get is a snow deflector for the top here. Um, again, it already has some pre-drilled holes there, easy to install, and it's a roughly $250 for that. Um, and then after that, you have a couple of choices for cutting edges. This is a standard duty cutting edge, what we'd highly recommend, but whenever you go to replace it, you will have a choice of either putting a standard duty back on or going with a heavy duty cutting edge at that point. Again, not overly needed, but it is an option, if you're, especially if you're doing commercial and uh, uh, for usage of that. So that kind of gives you a roundup of some of the options and how this uh, blade operates. Uh, we really look forward to bringing you a video in the winter if we do get some uh, inventory of 520s as well as the blades back in so uh, if that comes available to us we will definitely be bringing it to you so, so yeah let's do a demonstration now of how this blade operates you want to press that button right there look at that Want to put it back down now? I'll lift it back up and we'll show you how the blade angles. Watch out, bud. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit more about what the RTV can bring to the table and offer for you, um, as well as what this front snow blade uh, from Kubota does for you. Um, again, we enjoyed bringing it to you. So if you did enjoy, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.